The Journey of Ferdinand Magellan Ferdinand Magellan was born around 1480 in the city of Oporto, Portugal. Ferdinand Magellan grew up in a wealthy family. Until he was old enough to get out on his own, Ferdinand was the messenger of the queen. However, at just the age of 10, both of his parents died. Being highly educated in exploration while growing up, Ferdinand believed that by sailing west, he could reach the Spice Islands. Ferdinand Magellan studied many of Columbus's maps, and at just the age of 25, in 1505, he joined the expedition of Francisco de Almeida. But Magellan didn't decide to lead his own voyage until 1513. Ferdinand Magellan was actually denied by the Portuguese king, King Manuel, when he asked him to be funded for his expedition. It wasn't until 1518 until he packed up everything and headed for Spain. The Spanish government gave Magellan five ships and 251 men. Magellan commanded the Trinidad, and then there was the Conception, the Santiago, the San Antonio, and the Victoria. The voyage finally started to sail on September 20th, 1519. After seeing the turnout of Columbus's voyage, no success was expected out of this voyage. Even as brave and adventurous as Magellan was, nobody had high expectations. Magellan's fleet spent their winter in San Julian and settled there on March 31, 1520. Mutiny broke out just after the destruction of the Santiago. The sailors and the crew, well, they, um, they began to plot to overthrow Magellan. The commander of the San Antonio, Juan de Carnagina, was the leader of this plot. <laughs> he had a brutal punishment. De Maroon Carnagina killed the commander of the Victoria for releasing him and executed many other crewmen. However, that was not the only problem they had to overcome. In the September of 1520, a sea storm ruins the Santiago. It wasn't until November 21st, 1520, when Magellan entered the Strait of Magellan, located in southern Argentina. However, they lost the San Antonio halfway through. They then became the first Europeans to ever reach the Pacific Ocean by sailing west. It took the fleet 38 days to make it through the strait. During this time, they lost another ship. After getting through the strait, the entire crew was relieved. However, the Spice Islands were not expected to be so far away. Magellan thought he could cross the Pacific Ocean in just three or four days, but that was mistaken by months. Over the four months, starvation broke loose and scurvy became a huge problem. The crew survived on sawdust, leather strips, and rats. Magellan reaches the Pacific Island of Guam on March 6, 1521. Ten days later, Magellan discovers the Philippines. After a failed attempt to convert the native people of the Philippines to Christianity, Magellan turns to a different strategy. He uses the power of the cannons and the muskets. And as the natives and the Spanish meet on the beach, the shots, uh, they just start firing. But there was a problem. The muskets and the cannons were so far away that they couldn't harm the natives. As the natives became closer, they threw their spears and they just hit the Spanish, killing them and hitting them in the legs. Many of the Spanish, um, they fled. Uh, they left Ferdinand behind to be killed and that's how he died. He, was, he didn't have anyone to help him or save him. On April 27th, Magellan was brutally killed by the Indians. After seeing the weaknesses of Magellan, the Indians jumped on him, stabbing him with 
iron and bamboo spears until his last breath had been taken. Magellan was killed by the chief Indian, Lapu Lapu. Lapu Lapu took a poison spear and dug it into the leg of Magellan. As for the rest of Magellan's body, the Indians cut him up into little pieces and fed him to the fish. Magellan was killed by Lapu Lapu, and after this time, only like 110 men remained. They didn't have enough crew to command all the ships, so they burned and destroyed and abandoned the conception. After reaching the Spice Islands, uh, the Trinidad planned to return to Spain the way I had came. But then they were captured once they reached the Philippines. On September 6th, 1522, the Victoria arrived in Spain. It took almost three years, but it was the first vessel to circumnavigate the globe. Juan Sebastian del Cano sailed as the master of the Conception when they first left Spain. He later became the commander of the Conception after the captain had been killed for mutiny. After Magellan's death, he became the commander of the entire voyage. You could say that he was promoted several times during this journey. I mean, it was so amazing how out of 251 men, only 18 survived the whole voyage. We're so lucky that out of these 18 men, one of these guys happened to be Antonio Pifa. Uh Antonio was a tourist who had paid to be part of the expedition. He is so prized because he wrote a journal during the expedition, and it is the only known resource that we have to use today to refer back to the expedition. Peyafeta, uh, he witnessed such unbelievable things on his journey, including the death of Magellan. 